Hey guys, River here with Dark Arrow, and today I'm back here working on the aft electronics plate. I've made a bit of progress on this since the last time you saw it. Uh, we've got our connectors and the wiring running to this central plug here at the center of the plate. And uh, I ran into a bit of a sticking point while I was working on this. I uh, ran out of these guys. These are solder sleeves. And um, what they do is they're a really nice way to ground the shielding. The shielding on the outside of these wires protects them from signal noise. So I needed more solder sleeves in order to complete the wiring for this plate. Uh, the other thing I needed was uh, an alternative connector for our backup Atahars unit, the iLevel 3. iLevel actually includes a connector. This is a DB15 plug. Uh, one thing I don't like about it though is that it's going to require some soldering uh, along these pins and that's not a big deal. We do soldering on other projects around here, but I wanted to keep with the same uh, pin and crimp standard that we use for all the other connectors. So um, we've got that connector, we've got the solder sleeves. I'm going to continue working along with this, so let's get to it. All right, so here's where we're at with this aft electronics plate. We have now all the wiring for each connector running to this central plug. The last step we'll do is to paint the plate. Um, and the reason we do that is because we don't want the bare metal from some of these components in direct contact with our carbon fiber uh, because we don't want uh, them to galvanically corrode. So um, just a few tasks remaining, but the wiring is complete at this point on the aft electronics plate. Okay guys, check this out. We've got the plate all painted up and ready for its components to be reinstalled. Once we get everything back installed onto the plate, we're gonna be fitting it up inside the fuselage and then that'll allow us to correctly position the guide rails that this plate mounts to. But first, I gotta put everything back on this plate. All right, check that out. We got all the components back on the plate. So we're ready to take this and fit it up inside the fuselage. That way we'll know where the guide rails that it fastens to should be bonded inside the aircraft. All right guys, here it is. The moment we've all been waiting for with the aft electronics plate. We have kind of an interesting angle here in that the plane is fully inverted, so we're actually looking at it from above, but from below. As you can see, we've got our plate installed on the guide rails. Uh, for those who haven't been following along with the aft electronics plate, this is the plate that houses everything that goes behind the cockpit. So we've got our remote mount comm radio, we've got our ADS-B box, we've got our primary Atahars, and we've got our backup at ours. So all of that is on this plate that we have mounted back here. Now that the wiring is fully installed on the plate, we're able to figure out the final position of not just the plate, but the rails that it mounts to. So um, as you can see, uh, we've got pretty good clearance here. If you can imagine the fairing stretching from this bulkhead to this bulkhead with the plate mounted and the guide rails installed, that pretty much wraps up what we need to do with the aft electronics plate. Hope you liked the video guys. We'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>